Well, folks, the time has arrived for the final Book of Mercenaries chapter. We've got uh, Varden here as our 10th and final hero, and I guess we're closing up this story. So in this video, we're going to play through the Varden chapter, and I'm going to release a video somewhere in the near future where I edit together all of the Book of Mercenaries story stuff into one giant video. It's going to be like 10 hours long, so... No one will watch that, but it'll be fun. Stay tuned for that. But let's kick it off with Varden. Varden Dongrasp, aspiring magister and accidental dragon hunter. Accidental? One battle left. Ac I really hope I don't mess this up. Varden, <laughs> trying to talk. Accidental dragon hunter. All right, let's go. Brukhan was like a father to all of us. When he sent us away, I... I felt my chest tighten. Somewhere, deep down, I knew I'd never see him again. For a long time, Horde and Alliance stood there, as silent as the icy pines. Then, through the snow, a lone figure approached. Cariel Rome. I'm sorry. Brucon didn't make it. But Tamsin is gone. It's over. Let us pay tribute to our fallen companion and plan our next move. Dude, poor Brucon. We know he comes back as a spirit, though. That's all that matters. Kurtris at peace. Battle cry attack the left and right. Most enemy minions outcast immune. So same as the normal card, but uh, super big stat buff. Guild mascot guff. Also damages the minions next to whomever this attacks. Cyrella Hopeful Mother has a life steal. Rokara has taunt. Cariel is conflicted. But she has taunt. Tavish summons a 3-5 Rudolphus with a rush. Scabs, honorable kill, draw a card. Oh, that Scabs armor looks sick. Dude, I love how they keep including cool new art for all these. I mean, I think some of these we've technically seen before, but Scabs looks new to me. Despite that, this is Memorial. Let no harm come to the mercenaries. Brucon and Tamsin are gone. Now the remaining mercenaries must pick up the pieces. Truly not of Brucon and Tamsin. I think that's metaphorical. <laughs> uh, it'd be a little dark otherwise. Versus a quiet night. A quiet Does night? Does anyone want to say a few words? This is your fault, Cariel. How could you let this happen? Man, chill. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I supposed to be cooking meals again? Nine turns left to mourn. Wow. That is not exactly what I meant. It's cool. I like when new mechanics are in here. He fought with honor. He saved me. I mean, you should have saved him. Rokara, enough. It's time to say goodbye. I'm gonna win in fatigue, guys. <laughs> I will go first. Um, Brucon was my hero. He believed in me when no one else did. Touching. <laughs> like the time I tried to free the Dark Moon Rabbit and keep it as a pet. Brucon was the first to forgive me. Oh, Guff, we love you so much. Hey, speak the devil. Oh my god, am I supposed to not burn cards? I won't forget that. We didn't see eye to eye on much, but uh, thank you, all of you. The weight of justice. Has Even Tavish is being nice. Wow. Brukhan taught me what it means to be Horde. He built me into the warrior I am. Thank you, Master Brukhan. He taught me that all are welcome in the Horde. I never thought the Blood Elves would have a home. How sweet, dude. Kyria, are you all right? Give it up, everyone! I'm fine. Tamsin is fine? finally gone. It's over. He came in so aggressive. The Naru must be saved, and the dragons must face our vengeance. Kyriel! Justice. <laughs> right. Justice. 
carry out. Enough. No more salt on our faces. Kazakus is to blame for all this. And how do we stop him? All the ingredients have finally come together. It all makes sense. When Nixia fooled the Alliance, Kazakusan fooled the Horde. They're both dragons in disguise. Good job, guys. You did it. You're, You're smart. Oh my god, I need to draw the last guy. I don't know how many there are actually. I need Rokara, Zyrella. For this information, Skibs. But what are we supposed to do with it? I think we're okay though. Lady Prestor fled Stormwind as soon as the shards left the dead mines. No one knows where she is. There is something you all should know. Something I have not told any of you before. And what's that? Done. Do I have room to play everybody? I guess I don't have to as long as they're in hand, right? After the night of falling One turn stars, left anyway. Kazakis came to Silvermoon, my home. Mm. He wanted the Blood Elves to help him gather the shards of Naru and Kalimdor, much like what Onyxia did in Stormwind. Suspicious, I followed him. That is why I was in the Barrens. There I learned he sought the shards for evil ends. This is, by the way, this is what it's like to play uh, Mozaki Mage or Quest Mage, isn't it? You just have literally endless cards. <laughs> There's even a Cancer Spoil in here, too. You're actually kidding me. That's hilarious. The leaders of my city spoke with Kazakus often. I will return to Silvermoon and consult with them. Perhaps they will know where the dragons are hiding. The rest of you must go to your people. Raise an army! Wow. We'll need it if we hope to stand a chance against these dragons. Varden being inspiring. Okay. So, literally just don't burn cards, I guess, was the, I was the goal there. My own making, and in an instant, I was home. In Silvermoon. When I arrived, Lord Thamar Theron was waiting for me. He was the regent lord of Kel'Thalas. Ruler of the Blood Elves in my prince's absence. Really sick, Lorthamar. Uh, two mana, add one to the mana cost of a card in your opponent's hand increases each turn. Oh, my. Expensive cards incoming. Yeah, that was a cool little mini game, just uh, like not burn stuff, I guess, while, you know, there was a lot of basically exposition and and character building there. Didn't want it too distracted by gameplay that's the intense, you know. Your campaign have reached our ears, Varden Dawngrasp. Sentinels, arrest them. Wow, we're getting arrested. Okay, a lot of freezy stuff in this list it looked like. Some big spell mage, a root of the arc mage in there, I think. Not too big, I guess, but. <laughs> uh, burst damage is generally good in these, I guess. I don't want this to go too long or that hero power is gonna overwhelm me, right? Ooh, what's our hero power doing? Oh, it's extra damage. Best to defend me when the pale fast departed. But now, I hear you conspire with the enemy. The Alliance is not our enemy. Kazakus is. Come along quietly, Dawngrasp. Wow. We're just trying to help, dude. grown quite strong. Grand Magister Romat would be impressed. Come, Midnight. Ooh. Secret Lord Thamar. Never thought of him as much of a hunter, I guess, but what, what do I know? Dealings with Kazakus. I want answers. We knew the shards were pieces of a fractured Naru. Kazakus offered to help us attain them. We wanted that power. Oh. I mean, you kind of want to kill this, but he only played one secret, so he must not have a lot of synergies for it, right? I think we just go here. This gets a lot stronger next turn is the only thing. But I can protect my board pretty hard right now into Arcane Overflow next turn. This 1-1 one -one has some upside. Saboteur, this is all about cost disruption. I love it. That's cool. That's fun. Mm, yeah, let's just clear this and keep going face, I think, right? 
We have like Kona Cold next turn, we can stall out. So interacting with these minions doesn't seem particularly useful. Oh. I take it back. Cone here into shattering. It's pretty good. Something felt off about Kazakis, but I never would have guessed he was a dragon. He played us all for fools. But he let one thing slip. A name that might be the key to everything. Oh my god, this is 10 mana. I didn't even realize. That's all my burst damage just gone. Not that I need it, but <laughs> it's crazy. When Kazakus explained his plan to gather the shards, he said he had a refuge in Dustwallow Marsh, close to the Barrens. I will lead a force of our finest champions there, and you will be by my side. Yay, we're friends. Me, sir? But... I thought... Presumably you think this better than being locked up again? If you are right, and the Alliance can be trusted, all will be forgiven. Yay, friends! Good easy fight, I like those. Just go face. When our contingent arrived oh, in Kalimdor, I could not believe my eyes. My companions had journeyed across the world and brought fighters from every corner of Azeroth. Rokara led grunts from Orgrimmar. And Guth Druids from Thunderbluff. Scabs brought SI7, and Tavish recruited Iron Ford Riflemen. Sounds like a team. As we made a staging area in Theramore, Cariel approached. Dongrasp, the representatives from Stormwind have arrived. There's a uh, someone I'd like you to meet. Wow, King Varian equipped Shalamain. Oh my God, dude, <laughs> that's exciting. We gotta fight him, we gotta earn his trust. Or we just murder him. <laughs> he just straight up dies. <laughs> and starts a giant uh, giant war again. Oh, Valir's hanging out with him too, sweet. Where's my buddy Brol Bear Mantle? It is an honor. Onyxia and Kazakas hold my son hostage. My allies and I intend to lead the attack. Will you join us? Yeah, we gonna fight about it first though? Like a good hand. I don't play any mage, but works for me. Ooh. Then allow me to introduce Valera Sanguinar. She has saved my life more than once. It would be an honor. Valera, what's up? I don't know why. <laughs> it's not. Oh, whenever this is a tech, throw a fan of knives. Death will advance fight. Oh. Wow. So I probably want to get ahead on board a, a fair bit before I. Uh... Dude, this guy always trips me out with his art change. Every time, dude. The reskin on this. He looks so funny to me for some reason. Oh, dude. Every time it throws me off. Gonna need some water Ellie's for sure, though. Man. Need this here party to get some work in. Uh, Blizzard seems cool. It seems like a hitting face isn't really gonna do anything. Blizzard seems a little better than Flame Strike, cheaper and utility based. Fight trainer. After play minion, deal one to all enemy minions. Cone of Cold will put this to one to set up our hero power later. That's pretty nice. Could also just go here though to start wiping people out. Like that a little more, actually. I don't think we want to attack there yet. Could use a fireball to clear Valyra next turn. It's not very high threat, so that's good. I don't know if I want to get a little more ahead on board or not. It's the question, right? Let's just see how it goes. I don't know what to expect. So. You're pretty good. Now where's that gnome? I am starving. Scab's gonna hook her up. He has carried I called it. Many battles, literally, uh, on his back. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, transform into a three-nine bear with taunt. Okay, that is very spooky. Job's done. But death rattle advance fight. So if he trades here, he's gonna transform. What does this do, dude? After your attacks, give one-one to your legendary minions. Oh my god, we're getting, we're falling behind here. Blizzard into Flame Strike is pretty cool, though. 
Blizzard also sets up our ping nicely on these three health minions. I will try to draw the dragon's attention. You must summon every speck of magic you Roll, possess. dude, you're awesome! I love you, man. Such a cool character. He's a 3-9 now. Still frozen, actually. That's good. So actually, we might just go Flame Strike here, eh? What's gonna ping, but... Could ping Frost Nova, guess, like... Yeah, that's actually not bad with build a snowman, is it? Okay, yeah. Set up the flame strike for even more minions next turn. This way I get a little more stuff out. We also set up to actually kill the Brawl as well. That might be the final, like, ally he has. I mean, those are just two bros. Valera and uh, Brawl. Brawl, Brawl? You said Brawl, I say Brawl. Bro? See, unfortunately, we're one off on killing Brawl here. Um, it's okay, though. We can still clear a lot. Freeze Brawl, that's fine. Definitely, yeah. Uh, puts us in range next turn with a Arcane Overflow. Dude, I want to see Shalomain in the game. Well, I mean, this is obviously in the game, but collectible, let's say. <laughs> obviously, it's in the game, idiot. <laughs> so I wonder if this will advance the fight or not. Let's see. Like, finish the fight, let's say. Or maybe I just can can hit Varian more than? I don't know. You are ready. Now, where is Guff Rune Totem? I want to meet the Tauren who defeated the Stormwind army over a family of squirrels. <laughs> God, we love you, buddy. Oh, it's sweet. It's Jaina now. Spoke highly of you, Varden Dongrasp. Wow. To finally meet you. The pleasure is mine, Lady Jaina. Kind of fanning out, honestly. <laughs> That's fun. They love Jaina. Uh, I guess we go fireball here and just trade out. Seems fine. Maybe just better off with a snow brute than a card. Although this is my last fire spell, so I don't know. Let's see if this even just ends the game, right? I am satisfied. Kale did not exaggerate your talents. Now, your final test. Oh. Let's see how you handle me. Okay. Wait. Two King Varians? Yes, it's uh complicated. I I yeah, I don't get it either, but hey, I guess he's just dead maybe. Oh, I guess I actually have to kill him too? I don't know. I guess that's a play on him splitting with like Logosh and Varian, right? Catastrophe that demands our attention. That would be nice. Prepare to attack. Oh. Okay. Well. Quit quit breaking the rules. Yeah, I thought we were gonna be all done though, but we gotta keep rolling here, it looks like. It's fine. We're very far ahead on stuff, it seems. Big old Snogger. Lots of freeze for Charlemagne to get pushed down. So we should be fine. Prepare 19 health attack. seems okay. Ready for action. Hero power will get good here soon. That's how car every time, dude. I don't know why. It's so goofy looking. Nice frozen, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh deep freeze, sure. Seems good. No easy ping here. I'll probably just ping face then. Looks like we're getting close to winning. Everything important's frozen out. 6-6 six, six die here? Oh, backwards. Varian. Misplay, bro. Varian. Misplay, dude. Better just go here, maybe. Just go here, right? Like, we don't need the ping, really. Who cares? Alright, that should do it, right? This is the board. The 9 nine's gonna get us there. Divine Spirit Inner Fire combo incoming out of nowhere. <laughs> We're just dead. Okay, 10, 19. Yep, that'll do it. Cool. Good job, team. 
We ride at once to Dustwallow Marsh. Let not your courage fail, brave souls. This will be your greatest battle yet, but we fight for survival. For Azeroth! Love this dude, getting all the crew together, man. Recruiting everybody. Into the noxious marsh we rode. And then, out of the gloom, rose the skull-shaped entrance of a dark cavern. As our raiding party descended, the heat was intense. The air reeked of sulfur and reptilian breath. Suddenly, a voice came from below. How fortuitous. Usually, I must leave my lair in order to feed. Dude, I love it. We're going to kill Onyxia. Onyxia's might... Hero power, add one of your signature spells to your hand. Sweet. Oh, back to back is back with uh, Kurtris and Cariel. We got all the awesome freaking heroes here. Starting game. Qualifying them quills. Why is my effect tracker saying no a lot? The daughter of Deathwing? Who is that on board? What is that? Who is that? Uh, keep the meteor taunt here with Cariel. She's conflicted, but she's in the mulligan. Might be a good turn, too. Okay, everybody, listen up. Odd groups left, even groups right. Last two groups are wealth groups. Oh my god. We're basically doing the Mordots fight, it looks like. Oh, he's dead! He's just killed! Oh, I love it, dude. That's great. So this is a nutty hero power deal. Eight damage to random enemy minion and freeze it. God, the fact that it might need to be frozen despite dealing eight damage is kind of horrifying. How many whelps are there out here? Uh, let's go for AoE. Seems like a fight could go long. We have a three and a four anyway, so. Burn! With the power of the Naru, your fates are sealed. The Dark Naru. Rokara, carry her to the front. Pull her attention away from us. I am Is Maida the Dark Naru? Mida? Maida? Thought he was a good Naru for some reason. That's bad. Shoot. I see why we have the hero power now. Makes a lot of sense. Might not actually be the right turn for it, though. I think we can go for a regular freeze here to get a better board, right? Might be harder if there's more targets next turn, I guess. We'll see. I also don't know what these signature spells are. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty good. Not bad. Hey, Guff, dude, what's up? Yeah. This is fine. Set up for next turn. Good flame strike, maybe. Definitely better to freeze Kazakas on than kill him in a lot of ways, right? Because he's just going to keep coming back otherwise. Still good tempo, though. Let's roll. Zero power is nuts, dude. Okay, that's slow. Very slow. Because I'm coming up soon, though, we gotta think about. Probably gonna wipe out Guff. I think we can just freeze the 5-5 five five and go face, right? Yeah. Since it's not allowing me to hero power very effectively. Monster board. Just ignore everything. It's only killing one minion, right? So who cares? Ignite is wicked slow. Has to be lethal, right? Don't have that many spells, actually. I mean, Frost Over Shattering Blast is awesome. This is even better. Uh, not lethal though. Fifteen. Shoot. Oh, it was lethal. Oh no! I could have Frost Over for lethal. No! 
I'm even missing lethals against the uh, AI. No, not like this. If I lose, I'll be so sad. I don't think we're going to though. I think we're okay. Or not. Wow. We're getting owned actually. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I lose this game, dude. No, I'm going to be so sad. Okay, that's gross. Oh my god, I just need two direct damage, that is all. Please, it's not that crazy. Okay. Not like this, please. I need one Ignite, one Runedorm, one anything. Uh, that's okay. Oh. Well, that was pretty simple. Nice. Easy. Easy game. I am not a pawn to be sacrificed. I must skip. I must fly. Well, he won't be too hard to kill. He's just a tin tin. I need him not. Come, my brood. Fly oh no, is this a multi-phase fight? Oh, maybe it was good that I didn't do it then. Oh no, it's not. We have to fight a pile of whelps. Thousands of leathery eggshells split open at once, and veritable clouds of flapping, snapping dragon whelps overtook our forces. Onyxia loomed above us all, a hive sending forth her swarm. Ooh, Hala's in here. This is a big spell mage now. We lost all our friends, I guess. Uh, summon on a Nixian egg. All right. No Miss Lethals this time. We just want to build some uh, suspense, you know? That's all. Suspense. Don't grasp versus Onyxia. Feast my children on these mortals and grow strong. Feel the Naru's power. You can see something's going on here, like purple glow, shadowy Naru Feel stuff. Us. Defend us. Everyone, brace yourselves. All right. That seems a little too big. I like the idea of having the clumsy courier. Seems important to cheat out some big stuff, but needs some early game as well. We'll hit the big spell eventually. I guess we probably want it to be Root of the Archmage or Ice Blood Tower. My guess. This now. Oh, it's just Arcane Burst. Okay. Deal two with some honorable kill upsides. I guess if I'm popping eggs, maybe this is going to fuel up this hero power a bunch, which is pretty sweet. Let's wait for a better target. A lot of Twilight Whelps, man. I was expecting to see an egg. You don't pick the walks. Shitty Star is nice. That actually sets up hero powers later, too, if I want. Or now, I guess, actually. Blizzard seems really smart. All right. Cool. Deep water evoker. Nice. No way you can sink this ship. So now we're up to four. A three four would be a juicy target, but we'll probably value trade. We're all spellcasters. What are you talking about? Oh, these are three. Summon three whelps that attack immediately. Gross. Oh, Guff has a revive now, though. That's nice. Nobody messes with my friends. I want to kind of not have to kill these, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go over the top. So Mass Polymorph is looking uh, rather appealing in that regard. Guess I'm just going to ping. And this is like a lot of value, but. Do I need it all is the question. I think we're fine to burn a card, right? Oh, I'm actually not burning a card. We didn't fill up. Cool. I don't see any reason to pop these. She might do it herself. I don't know yet. But yeah, I can just mass polymorph them if I need to. Or just guff them maybe all at once and like... Wait, he's legendary. He's got a border. Normally, legendary rules apply to anything with a border. Because not all legendaries are collectible cards. Interesting. 
Uh, we could probably just do this right now and get the Ice Blood Tower going. Seems like it's going to be very good on average. Help us snowball this fight. Oh, God. Uh-oh. This might give a lot of whelps. Uh-oh. Nice! Good snipe! Um, okay. Let's see, summon whelps to it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. This is not what I expected. We are getting murdered here now, though. I guess we actually saved two whelps in a way because there wasn't board space. There are still whelps that are alive on board, though, unfortunately. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, this card's real. Oh, no, I thought this was primordial Drake at first. The teal two damage to all. I was like, that's perfect. Mana bind will fail here. Wow, we are gonna die, dude. That was brutal. Okay, that really Archmage just screwed me, it turns out. Jeez. Really bad, and I'm probably just dead. Probably just dead. If she kills this, I am dead. Job's done. Oh, God. Oh, another ice blood tower. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, dude. Ice blood tower even sucks in single player. Oh god, I hate ice blood tower so much. I mean, I hate Rude the Archmage too, actually. They both seem so bad. Could have polymorphed first, we might have been okay. Oh, dude. The, <laughs> dude, the big spell mage package. It's just so hard to get it to work. It's so reliant on just good luck. And uh, it's just such a big mana expenditure that makes it clunky. If you don't hit the perfect stuff, even when you do hit the good curves, it's it's punishing half the time. It doesn't even work out that well. Like, man, what a nightmare. Should have just played the mass polymorph, I guess. Shouldn't have had any trust. We could have got a mass polymorph, I guess, off the ice blood tower, but Healers, defend us. who knew it was going to go so poorly? Everyone, brace, yourselves. brace yourselves! Oh, Armor Vendor seems good. Potion of Illusion is weird. It's a little off. A little on. Oh, Ink Set's nice. Okay. Could save this, I guess, for the uh, combo, but I actually think I want a hero power a lot more. It seems like burst damage might be an important way to win this game. Probably need to get more hero powers rolling and just go over the top so that I can ignore the eggs for a while. We don't know how reliably she's going to be popping the eggs, right? Nice blood tower again, huh? Could also try to beat the eggs by just equipping a lot of stats on board, right? Just if you have a ton of stuff out, theoretically, you're fine. Because you the whelps are just going to hit your minions and kind of die off. Hit them in. Come on. Nice. Fireballing minions, I think, is great news for us. Nobody messes with my I mean, I think, you know, for instance, if, if Guff's alive, this 1-3 trade's pretty darn well. A few good excuses to clear. Guff is not alive now, but you know. Belinda's gonna be a monster threat too, potentially. Do you take me for an ordinary mage? An ordinary mage. Nice. Nice! An 8-9 is big. Might be a good time to kill a whelp to fuel the hero power and um got a decent body on board to absorb some of the hits. I'm probably going to want to play Rune of the Archmage soon, too, so that's maybe going to pop these out anyway with a, with a worse board state situation, right? So only one goes face. It's not bad. Hey, Guff, dude. Thanks for protecting me, man, from the adjacent uh, tail sweep. Sweet of you. Yeah, I mean, do we go Rune? Not a good board for it, necessarily, right? Could probably go Deep Freeze first. Uh, just to get a little more board out. I think we just pink face, too. Like I said before, getting... Oh, actually. Oh, my. Yeah, let's do this. This is a good board for the whelps, really. I won't take too much damage, usually. Uh, okay. Sure. Yes, nice. Hit minions. 
fine. Pretty good, actually. Welp would be good, yeah. Yeah, okay. Great. Not so great. Not so great. Not so great. Ugh. Dude, combustion, I swear to god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice, four damage. Uh, I swear to god, Rune Dark Mage, man. Rune Dark Mage is just always so awkward. It's so awkward every time. All right, this is good at least. Good target for the deep freeze, finally. That's been rare. You've got me fired. Like, can I even trust an ice blood tower, you know? Am I even allowed to trust it, man? I think we might pop the whelps here and try to hit these three with guff, right? Oh, actually, no, that got taunt. That's even better, okay. Uh... Yeah, of course we might lose Guff here. That's no biggie. Might not, too. We're lucky. Ooh. Fancy. Okay. Only two big spells left. All right. Uh, Actually, I kind of want a pink face here. I don't really care about the Whelp that much. If it kills the Guff, whatever, he comes back, right? It's no big deal. I guess we could Ray of Frost, though, and then maybe Guff has a chance, right? Ping face, though, is just so close to ending this game now. We shouldn't really need much else. Ooh. Big one. <laughs> so this has Polymorph and Rune. But I have 26 health, so I don't think we have to worry too much about that. This is going to give me even more health. We're just setting up to win with pings here is the main goal. Maybe some burst damage here would be nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. That'll do it. That'll do her. All right. Uh, whatever. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. This should be enough. They haven't shown any healing yet. So, oh, never mind. They have shown healing. I remember that last time. Yep. Screw me. Uh, First flame gonna get me there on lethals. No fire sale. I usually take a mountain of damage. Man, I actually don't have lethal. I think I could just stall though and set up for next turn. Should be fine. No reason to hurry here. I don't even really need a mass poly or anything, right? Kind of just doesn't matter. And just chill. I mean, I can do this, whatever. I think none of it matters. Just stay alive. Gain life. Oh, sure. <laughs> More burst damage. That'll do too. Less than the other ones, but if we need it again, maybe more heals. The plot is hatched. Okay. This will do it. Thank you, Pink. This meaningless exertion bores me. I'll incinerate you from above. We can have a third phase against Anixia, dude. It's taking off. Clear the center, everyone. Look out. It's crazy. Three-part Anixia fights, wild. It's cool though. Onyxia yeah, of the void. Wow. The floor of Halea began to break apart. Soldiers plummeted into Looks a like same deck, maybe. magma below. The Naru is mine. I will not fail. Now you will meet your end. Cool. I love the uh, epicness of this. Like, uh, <clears throat> it actually feels like an epic boss fight. Dawn grass versus A raid boss, if you will. Stay strong, oh, whoa, Don't this is a puzzle. Up. Oh, this is sick art, by the way. Varden and Jaina talking. That's cool. Oh my god. So, your minions with Wind Fury have Mega Wind Fury. I can give Leroy Mega Wind Fury. That deals a lot of damage. Um, 
So I'm just going to take a look at some math here real quick. Like consecration into lab. Well, actually, I guess just lab partner. Consecration Kurtra seems to make a lot of sense here. You know, am I insane? You can almost just go face. <laughs> oh, you have to use um Okay, Cariel might need to have gone first to save some mana I'm seeing now. Like hit these with Cariel to line up better math, right? Cuz this guy now I'm not going to have an easy time attacking cuz Leroy isn't damaged. I would need Leroy to be damaged. Is there a good way to damage Leroy for the Shield of Honor attack? Oh, we can also give Cariel Wind Fury, I guess. Uh, but then I don't have enough mana to Leroy, so I need to I need to get the Consecration. Um, I need to get the Consecration discounted first, right? So Cariel Wind Fury. Hit the big guys. She's actually even mega wind fury, doesn't she? So she can hit. She could actually hit smaller stuff and then shield of honor to fully discount everything. I'm going to assume that's actually important, but um, let's just see what it looks like without it, real quick. Oh yeah, you're still one mana off, so you have to. Okay. So we need to trade her into a two-three, not because it needs to be cleared, but because we need the discount. Um, okay. Obviously important, because otherwise, why would the 6-6 six, six be there? So hit here, hit a 2-3. Then hit the other 7-7. Seven, seven. Then you lab partner, consecration. Uh, hammer for wrath before I refresh mana. Then refresh mana, then Kurtris, and then Leroy for the Cool. That's fun. I need to tell you something. When I close my eyes, I see her face. Tamsin haunts me. I don't know what to do. I dedicated my life to vanquishing demons, but I never thought to face the demons in me. Wow. Maybe in time, I can help demons. The demons in you. Wow. Demons everywhere. Great job. Thanks. I need that. Loading the next. I don't know how she's still alive if it was lethal, but whatever. This is also lethal. 30 damage. Oh my god, we have to do OTK Demon Hunter stuff? Like, what? I have never done OTK Demon Hunter stuff in my freaking life. Uh, is this guy active? Did we play him? I'm guessing we just go Moarg, Moarg. I beam. And fell scream, right? This is surely enough. Oh, it's actually not quite enough. Uh, sure it is. <laughs> sure it is. Uh, okay. You don't have to get exact lethal on these, do you? No. All right. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Why is Martin a de Was that Kurtz? I didn't even notice. Were we Kurtz that time? Uh, lethal at 30. Oh, my God. Uh... After friendly beast attacks, summon a beast and redact the cost one less. So maybe we buff beasts first? How am I gonna get. There's no way I'm gonna get enough for. Like, there's no way. There's not enough charge minions, right? Oh. I see. I probably should have played this first, but I wonder if I'm actually better off to copy the 6-7. Because there was only 5 in hand. Um, 
Gundra ran out saving the day. This is a cool little lethal. Big damage outs, man. You might have to overwhelm one of my own minions and then Shando copy the 6-7, right? Forgot to attack with this a second time, but it clearly looks like it's not going to matter. This is kind of the uh, old Raynad lethal. I think it was a bait to buff, although it might have gotten you there anyway, because I think we only needed five buffs, but this might be the max damage output. Nice shot, Stormpike. Nice shot, Stormpike. Oh, thank you. But that doesn't mean we're friends, Frostwolf. I guess we're just kind of each person taking our lethal swing here. I'm glad Ilganoth showed up to help us, though. <laughs> like, how did he get there? Like, what? <laughs> Why is Ilganoth here? <laughs> okay, so we got minion buffs. Uh, probably going to get a boar with a bunch of Librams on it for a uh, Liadrin. So I'm guessing we go Aldor to get these Librams to be really cheap. Uh, oh, actually, I bet that was bait. I bet we carry out one of them. I bet I wasted a mana that I didn't need to waste just now, right? That's my guess. Um, good God, there's a lot of math to sort out here, though. Jeez Louise. I'm guessing the Stormwind Knight is also bait. Uh... Oh, I got coins here, though. Oh, yeah, coins. That's what the difference is. Okay. That'll do it. Okay, so we definitely want as many Librams as we can get in this pool, but I also need the minions to die. So I only have those two coins left. That'll only leave me with five. Yeah, I think I have to hold the Storm of Night. It seems like bait. But I need the hero power, though, is the question. Probably need to make sure Rokara dies. I would do anything to protect my children. So these can die with the buffs. I need the Naru. So Rokara could go here and still die. I don't think this really matters anymore, actually. I think I've gotten... I think I'm going to get to... I think I'm gonna get to nine anyway, right? For the Liadrin, that is. Can the carry go face? I just real. Oh no, I have the port for that. I don't need the carry to go face. Oh, I'm missing an attack though. Maybe I do have to ping? Maybe the second one is bait? Uh. Whoopsie. Why did I lose an attack? Maybe I have to be more mana efficient? I can't obviously play all of this. It won't even let you ping. That's weird. Um, I guess I can... Yeah, I don't know. I have to play Leodrin, so... I don't have it anymore. I gotta, I gotta restart. There's no way. Liadrin, I need to give Rush, I guess, actually. I guess that was the problem. I gotta give Liadrin the Rush, too. But I need to play it soon enough. How many of these did I get, though? I only had eight. I need, I need eight. Well, I need eight, yeah. God, I don't know. I still don't actually know what I did wrong here. I mean, basically, we know what we need to be doing, but... I gotta figure out the right math on it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't appear these can go face. I think they just have rush. Uh, so I don't... No, I do need both Aldors, because the Cariel only discounts the Librams one time. So you have to play both Aldors. There's no question about that. I guess I could put the board down any time. There's no reason to hold him, right? Is there? Because board space doesn't matter. And then if I play both brooms, I will have enough mana left to coin. So I kind of just need to sort this out to make sure I can clear five bodies. So maybe I do need the Rokara. Maybe that's not bait, right? So, um, 
Hit, hit. These need to die, so I think trading those in there made sense. Nobody has Wind Fury, though. Maybe I gotta save one broom post Leodrin, don't I? But that don't, that leaves, oh, that does, that leaves aid in handy. Yeah, I gotta save one broom post Leodrin. Leodrin has to trade. Okay, I see it, I think. I don't actually know the execution yet, but I think that's the, that's the hook. You gotta save one broom. You gotta save the one broom. I think you can play boar anytime. Doesn't actually matter. But. Oh, well, not any. I can't play the object anytime because I gotta have enough Librams. I currently have eight Librams. Oh, but wait, if I play the Adrian prior to Broom. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, that'll work. That's totally fine. That feels weird and counterintuitive every time, but I think it's okay, right? So this can just sit here, it doesn't matter. We need Broom to kill one of the... Uh, actually, I need... Wait, am I gonna have enough? Yeah, this'll be eight, right? She doesn't die, but it doesn't matter because I have eight. I fight. Doesn't actually matter what she hits, I think. So there's eight in hand. These both clear naturally. And then you buff the board. Perfect. Beautiful. That's tough. I mean, not, not really, but you know, you got to sequence it right. We fight side by side. Cool. I bet that was. I, uh, people haven't played Librum Paladin. It's not that intuitive to sack a bunch of Librams in, but. Oh my. What on earth is this, dude? We've got Educated Elic. Kind of feels like bait. I mean, these seem like they're definitely coming down. No, I guess it's not bait, because you got. I don't know. I don't know what's in the deck yet, right? So let's see. Oh my, interesting. <laughs> oh my, interesting. Uh, so I need to paint. I guess I can already paint an Elic, right? Should be fine, I think. Uh, do I need to give this thing life steal? I guess so that I don't die, huh? Might have already done that too late. Uh, might be a whoopsie. And I also put that in the deck, which I don't think I want. Because I can't... I can't draw. How am I drawing out of the deck here? Uh, okay, hold up. Maybe I need to kill the Elec to get the Shadow Visions? Well, no, I can't. Uh, maybe I got a. Uh... Okay, so I have five spells that deals 10 damage. How am I getting extra cards, though, here? Do I put in one Shadow Visions and then kill the Elec to get another Shadow Visions out of the deck? That's what I'm not understanding, I guess. How am I duplicating enough of these, right? Yeah, it's a copy, so I gotta put one in the deck. That's what it is, yeah. Then I have infinite damage, okay. I got there, it's a copy, so you can just loop forever, as long as you click the right card. Cool, that's fun. The light flows through you, Guff. I feel it. Guff's got this, baby. I fight for this land, for the Earth Mother. 
for your daughter, too. I do not wish to fight, but we all have something worth fighting for. Cool. Guff is up, I guess. Great job. Okay. Oh, my. No way, dude. <laughs> it's all in Boris, man. Are you serious? Uh, so probably like double Forsaken, double Boar. That's uh, six mana. Oh, God, I've seen people do this and I don't remember the combo. Uh, this is going to give me some coins if I kill it. Graveyard. I mean, there's a lot of mana here to spend, man. Might have to extortion this to kill it in time, right? Uh, we're going to deal four to it. Off the sheep. Oh my god, I really do not remember how you do this. I'm just gonna slam some cards in here and see what happens, right? I didn't get a sheep in, so I'm almost certain this is not correct. I mean, you gotta play the, the Gorfiend, certainly, right? Uh, if I backstab here, that's how I'm getting the coins back. Does that really still give me enough mana, though? Not really, right? I mean, this is obviously wrong. I gotta have a sheep in. There's no question about that. Is this the bait, maybe? Because I can kill two sheeps anyway. How do I soften up the Gorfiend enough, though? This doesn't work either, though. I'm so confused. This is still too much mana. Not enough mana. I'm gonna have to look up how to do this freaking combo. Uh. Quit breaking the rules. I mean, prep snowfall certainly seems to make sense. The dead never rest. The dead never rest. I'm already out of mana again. Dude, these guys cost so much mana. If I backstab a sheep and extortion this, I don't have any boars. I need this to be in there for the boars, obviously. Oh my god. Maybe I could just, uh... kill that to get the coins and then do the stuff. Like, if I go here, and then here... But I need the sheep to kill the Gorefiend! So confused. The dead never rest. So there's like this? That's only two boars, though. I'm not gonna have enough boars, am I? Oh, maybe I am. Hold up. Because death battles are going off twice, obviously. Did I mess it up again? Oh my god, I think I forgot to put this boar in. Oh, I thought I had seven. Okay, that's how I do it, though. That's how I do it. I just forgot to put the new boar in. Okay, 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 I got it. I got it. So we go... Uh, prep dude. Extortion. Sheep, Forsaken, or Gorefiend, play the coins. Well, do you even need both coins? There we go, baby. Cool. Fun. Give me all the swords. Scabs! Scabs. Don't worry about me. It's gonna be Garot, isn't it? It's just the OTK train. So many OTKs.
<laughs> oh god, it literally is. Ugh, oh, I've never in my life played... <laughs> I've never played Garot Rogue in my life. <laughs> um... For my discretion. I don't have a clue, man, what's going on here. I feel like I might actually need a guild trader copy, huh? I still have shadow stuff. Dude, I actually hate this so much right now. I am out of hand board space. Uh, maybe I just play a guild trader here? Could use an Og Merchant to pop off an Og Merchant. Dude, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Honestly, maybe I need to shadow step the scabs. Oh my god, some... Oh, I can't... Oh, I was gonna... Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I don't need to play that. I can guarantee you that. I was gonna... Oh, shoot, dude. I was gonna do the thing on it, of course, and I can't. That's not how that works. Um... I don't know, let's just see what happens, because I'm too lazy to sort this out. Oh, I don't have a way to draw, either. I gotta trade one of these. I gotta trade this one to draw the stuff. Okay, that's the, that's that's part of it, too. I guess I seem like I had a million extra damage. Maybe I don't need to be that precise here, after all. Um... If it's to get that Augmerge just chilling, this guy chilling on board, that seems like it's important for some reason or another. I can probably just get one extra spell damage here and I bet that's enough. Although, I don't know, is it really? I only have 14. It's not enough. I can shout us up this one, it'll be enough, right? You're paying for my discretion. Another happy guildy. Eight and eight. I might get the tradable back, but I can trade it again. I have enough mana, so it doesn't matter. Another happy guildy. Okay, I don't know that's the best way to do that. It seemed like you had a lot of overkill possibilities there. Uh, the Tons of extra lethality. Dude, this is a long phase of a book of mercenaries, by the way. There's eight pretty, pretty complicated puzzles, you know? They're all taking a little time. You're kidding me, dude. What is this? Fire your hero power at all enemies. Copy the lowest cost minion in your hand. That's going to be an ethereal aug merchant. That's some fireballs. This gives you coins, so that definitely needs to die. Oh, here's Mita Pure Void. Oh, instead of Pure Light. Oh, wild. Um, oh my god. So I'm guessing this happens. I might need to pump this up, though, right? Like, get it to four or, or deal some damage with it anyway. Like, it seems to make sense that... Oh, wait! You can also... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can create a chain here. Um... So I put this to seven. I'm gonna get a nutty hero power upgrade. I don't know that this is going to be enough right now, but let's just take a look at it and see what happens. Um, the wildfire might be bait because the math might be weird, but because um, you might need to create a full chain. I haven't really looked at it yet, obviously. I don't know. We're gonna see if we just have enough damage, right? Um, but I probably could have lined up some more math here, maybe. Yeah, see, like, these are obviously about lining up some math somehow, right? This is not enough, right? I'm a little short. Yeah, I'm a little short. So very close. Uh, okay. So I just need to line up some math. Might even simulate. What does Simulacrum do? Copy the lowest cost in your hand. So, um, I think maybe the wildfire was bait because I think I like these being at even numbers better. Four, six, eight. 
These are all one health minions. I can't ping off my own stuff. I can't push this to nine, right? So putting these to three, five, and seven doesn't really help me. Could maybe push that to nine, though. Maybe you don't need to, because we were pretty close anyway. And then push that guy to 11. Can I push him to 11? No. Oh, yeah, with a shooting star, maybe? 11 and 13. And then nine. Oh, but I used the shooting star to get the math last time. Ah, crap. So that's probably not gonna work. You're paying for my discretion. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I need to be that greedy, though. I also just don't know if I want odd numbers or even numbers, right? It's pretty tough. So I said that's 3, 4, or 3, 5, and that needs to go to 7. You're paying for my discretion. So this needs to be 9, which I can do. Oh, I need to copy this guy to get it to 11. Okay, I see it, I see it, I think. Okay, this is a crazy fun, uh, this is a really fun puzzle, actually, yeah. These give me the one damage. Oh, I gotta play the Sky Talon first. Ah, crap, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I think I'll have enough mana, by the way. I haven't double-checked, but... The refresh seems like a lot of mana. And the coins, right? So... So this goes to seven. Uh, this goes to nine. Then I can put this to eleven. And I think that'll be enough, hopefully. Can't really put that to thirteen, it seems. So I'm missing two in the chain. I mean, is that going to be enough? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I don't have enough mana to fireball, though. Nor enough to refresh. So I did lose some mana here. This may not be enough. It's only doing 13. Oh, yeah, I'm a little off. Are you... Oh, no, I have coins. I forgot about the coins. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Cool. Oh, no, I didn't refresh. Oh, God, dang it. No, I don't have enough. Did I just do it wrong? Oh my god, do I have to get better math? There's no way I have to get better math, right? Maybe again the uh for my discretion. Maybe some of this is bait? I don't know, a lot of this is even numbers, so I'm wondering if there's a better way to do this. No, we want that at the end. Uh, yeah, this isn't, it's still not going to be enough, right? I mean, this is more than Fireball, though, so... That's the mana that I want. I don't know. Let me check without the fireball. I think it might be enough. Because this does a lot more than fireball. Might be one off still, though, I feel like. Oh my god, it is. It's one off. Oh my god, you're kidding. Okay, so maybe I have to do it via even numbers. How am I getting the first one to two, then? What am I hitting for two damage? to go to four because it's like four six eight what's what's taking two because none of these have two health so i need this to go to eight this to 10 12 14 but what's two how do i get something to two and four maybe i just go two four six Right? Maybe it's like this. Oh, I gotta copy that. Whoopsie. This is hard, dude! The wildfire might be bait, basically, is the story, moral of the story. Wildfire might just be bait. Although, man, you gotta take this to... This is, like, really annoying, right? Like, taking that to six is weird. Oh, I need to use this to take it to six, eight, 
The other one, that goes here to... to oh my god, dude, this is hard. This is no joke hard, dude. So, shooting star over here then, maybe? Maybe just these two? Oh, I could also spell damage shooting star. You're paying for my discretion. Oh, I might need to hit him for that. Oh my god, dude, this is so hard. Why is this so hard? I need to get this out of hand so I can get the Sky Talon played. You're paying. Let's just try this for now. <laughs> I didn't push this to 10. How do I get that to 10, guys? Because I don't have a 10 now. There's no way that's right. I gotta get that to 10. Oh my god, dude, why is this so hard? So to get that to 10 and this to 8, I could maybe... I Do I need to give my own stuff spell damage is another question. Like, I don't think this gives me spell damage ever, right? It does not. So how do you get these to 10, 12, and 14? Specifically this to 10. Do I need to go back to the wildfire for odd numbers? Hmm, did I have mana to use the wildfire on the time I did it the way before where I was one short? That just occurred to me. Did I have a mechanism to use the wildfire that time? Like I had some mana at the end, I thought. Oh my god. Okay. This is so insanely hard. <laughs> this is a lot of data points. Um, I need to use this first and then can I wildfire for extra mana for extra damage like did this make the difference is this the way I even did that before I don't even remember maybe I had that wildfire sitting in hand and enough mana for it and I just missed it right I think that makes some sense like now I go here oh this is even worse what did I do backwards here? Now I'm two off. <laughs> okay, maybe try it this other way again then. You're paying for my discretion. Or we go to three, five, for my seven. And then nine. Eleven and thirteen. With the wildfire. Why does this feel like it's the right way and I just didn't do it right before? Why does this seem insane now? I'm only giving up one. This feels like the right way to me, but I, I don't know. Like, I feel like this is what I did the first time and it didn't work for some reason, though. So now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Why does this suddenly feel like it's so much more damage? No, this is the one where we end up one off, though, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. I'm at 15. Yeah, this is absolutely the one. Okay, I don't know. I thought I did this the first time. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Wildfire wasn't bait, whatever the case. 
Naru, save me! Cool. That's fun. Naru is too big to travel through a portal. It is? Zyrella, Dawn Grasp, take my fastest Griffins. Fly to the Exodar. Exodar. Cool. What an epic ending, man. A lot of craziness going on. Whoa. Void, Anixia. With all haste to her daughter, the broken Naru with us. When the brood mother burst through the top of her lair and gave Dude, chase. Dude, Anixia will not die, bro. Surged with void energy. In seconds, the undead dragon was upon us. Whoa, undead Anixia, cool. A storm of dragons swoops in to attack. Wow. Anixia risen. <laughs> Two fights to go and Book of Mercenaries is done. What? It's crazy. Awesome, she's got a bone showing. Whoa. keep flying. Don't stop. Give it to me. Okay, chill. Uh, all right. Uh, Arcane Brilliance may be a little greedy, but might be a good mana fill. I don't exactly know what this hero power is about, so. Let's see. This looks like our scaling hero power. Oh, we just have to survive. Okay. A storm of dragons swoops into attack. <laughs> oh. Okay. Decent hero power. Abomination by it. How is this possible? Oh, whoa. Does it get worse every turn? That's crazy. Actually, pretty intense. Quit breaking the rules. Quit breaking the rules. Uh, Mirror Image is a good stall, but so is Brain Freeze, and it's a removal. Uh, both equally cheap. Six mana next turn. Boom, boom, boom. One drop. Um, yeah, Brain Freeze seems like the better card. Ooh, man. Oh, God, give me a Frost Nova. Jeez. Man. I'm actually kind of stuck here. Belinda is just going to get murdered by the Primordial. I don't think that's it. You don't pick the walks. <laughs> oh, another Brain Freeze. Nice. Not enough man. Actually, pretty legit. Not too bad. We are all Mass Polymorph is good here. Could go for the Ice Blood Tower and hope for the best, but I don't know. This removes a ton of damage. Next turn, we could go Clumsy Armor to be a little safer, maybe. Oh, Fireball's gross. Ugh. It's actually a lot of damage output. Ugh. Yeah, I probably need to go Clumsy Armor Vendor here, but oh, it's risky, isn't it? Fire sail any better? It does clear actually, because I have hero power. <sighs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's do that. Because this could backfire, right? We don't we don't know what ice blood's gonna hit, so. Play it a little safer here. Ooh, that knife knife's gross. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad deep freeze target. No, yeah, that was gonna die anyways, that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Deep Freeze Wand Thief leaves nine out. Clumsy Ping leaves a little more out. It could really backfire. I think it's gonna be a mass polymorph, but what if it ran an arcane brilliance? Would I be dead? Ugh, not necessarily, but oh god, it's scary. It's a big risk. Let's try it and see. The polymorph. Deep Freeze here? Okay, that's maybe the next best. Next best result. I feel like I really needed a Frost Nova or Blizzard or something this game, though. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, God. It's a better target for us. We get a freeze at least, but it's just not enough. I need to get one thief into a board freeze. Oh, my God, dude. 
<laughs> I'm a god, dude. Uh, deal six, huh? Um, I don't know if any of this matters, actually. Let's just chill. Ah, there's the mask. Oh no! Those can attack now. No! No! Oh my god, I hate Ice Blood Tower so much, dude. Oh, I, it's so bad. I've never had a satisfying Ice Blood Tower in my life. It's so bad. Oh, the big spell mage pack is just so frustrating, dude. That's probably just stole the game for me because they got to attack. Great. Great. Cool. Cool. Don't stop. So I need a lot of stall, we found out. I don't even know if early minions are going to matter much. Mass Poly might be fine. Arcane Brilliance, I mean... I feel like that's not good enough, right? I need wide board, because by the time I get to five, they're going to have three, four, five minions, potentially. Fire sale's good. Fire sale's good. Okay. Be <laughs> free seems a little slow. Shivering's pretty solid, actually. It's a good trade ping. Might trade off a fire sale. I don't really need to, though. They're pretty good still, I think. Let's hold. Having additional mana here is going on. So fire sale here doesn't really clear. I think a polymorph ping is probably a little better for me. The question is, what am I actually pinging? Maybe it's fire sale ping in that case. It's not really good enough otherwise. Fire sale next turn looks a little better. Yeah, those are fine minions currently. Yeah, it's kind of big. These two are a tad awkward. Some spell damage might be nice. It's not probably the right time to deep freeze though. Okay, four turns left. That's probably will be good against this really big board here, I'm thinking. No ping, unfortunately, but... Dude, how are you supposed to use Howla in this deck? Like, it's so expensive, everything. Oh, okay, that's a cheap card, I guess, for it, at least. Mm, can I get away with a deep freeze here on the 6-5? Nothing else to do with the mana is the problem. Same story in that's poly, but... Man, it's just gonna get worse next turn, though, if I don't do this. This is a really hard fight. Brass wings, gross. So this looks like the mass poly for sure. This gets them extra face damage though, which sucks. Second flame, dude, that's crazy. Mass poly into a ping, I guess? Saves one health? No, I, I think I'd rather keep the one ones out, honestly. Arcane missiles though, does save me some life, but maybe I just get the blizzard for next turn. I don't know, we know how much burst damage this has though. There's like, yeah, I'm dead again. Oh my god, dude, this fight sucks. We had it last game until the stupid, <laughs> stupid ice blood tower, man. It's just like a lot of stuff that's just not useful. Like, you know, you're only getting to what, like 10 mana and then one extra turn maybe. So having an eight mana, a lot of big spell cards in particular don't don't seem to really make a ton of sense because you can't really use them in time. You're only going to get one or two turns for most of the cards. Maybe we're just drawing the wrong end of the deck here, though. Dawn Grasp versus Onyxia, Onyxia again for the 17th Tyrone, time. Keep flying. Don't stop. <laughs> We're gonna give it to you, Onyxia. Trust me. Oh, hey, uh, an actual low cost card. Maybe that's been the problem this whole time. We're just not hitting the low cost half of the deck. This seems much, much faster. Okay. Because I need to deny that chip damage early, I feel like. That's where we're gonna thrive. 
Um, actually, yeah, we have three mana. Did I start the game with three mana? Am I getting an extra mana every time that I lose? Am I crazy? Abomination. I feel like I'm getting an extra mana every time I lose. Is that a thing? Because that's pretty chill, if so. It makes me feel better. Mm, let's wait. Might be nice with fire sale. Has that always been a thing? Starting with an extra mana? Because I noticed I was at two at one point, and then this game I was at three, I, I think. I don't know. Good question. Fire Shell ping here is pretty good. Next turn, hopefully, Jandis uh, is enough. If not, uh, another Fire Sail here looks decent. I didn't get an upgrade on the hero power, though, yet, so. Quit breaking the rules. Uh, Jandis is a little risky, but if we're ever going to play it, I think now would be the time. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, I mean, technically the lifesteal's kind of useful for me, so... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't kill anything, though. Oh, god, like... I, I'm just screwed again, man, like... Oh, they had a poison. The lifesteal really didn't do much for me. It didn't make much difference. I need like a brain freeze or frostbolt or something on this death thing, right? We're, we're dying. <sighs> I don't think I can risk the blizzard. It's just too much damage to wait a whole turn. I would be taking 18 and leave me at eight. They have so much burst damage. Brain freeze. I mean, what am I doing next turn though if it's not a blizzard, right? Oh my God. Okay. Gonna take a gamble here, obviously. A real gamble. Need to be alive. Probably not. They have so much burst damage. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's not so fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Polymorph's leaving too much out, so it's gotta be Blizzard, but I'm not surviving three turns like this, so... I don't know here. I need another freeze of some kind. They're killing a minion to make board space, or just because they don't know what else to do? Oh yeah, okay. Trading up a little. Mass poly shooting star is not enough. Heat freeze is not enough. I had one more mana, I could do that and stay alive at one technically. Yeah, this isn't enough. Uh, this fight sucks, kind of. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I've I said this before. Like, I don't really love losing a lot on this when it feels like you don't have influence over it. If you have influence over it, and you're not just totally victim to your draws. I guess it feels okay, but man. I want to experience the story and not have... You know, like, like the puzzles, for instance, right? Like, failing the puzzles, like... That feels fine, because I knew I had good influence over and I could control, but I don't really feel like I'm doing much here. I feel like I'm just kind of playing the very limited number of cards available. It doesn't seem like there's that many actionable choices, and I seem kind of hopeless the whole time. I don't know, maybe I did start it too the whole time. So I just feel like I'm just kind of beating my head against the wall here until the things happen to land in the right order, which is not good. Um, that's not very fun. So, yeah, this has been a definite stall in this experience for sure. I guess I always started at three and didn't realize it. Uh. Abomination! How is this possible? I can't play my card. It's a little early for this, but I, I think I need cards. I think I need stuff to do. Seems like my choices have been so regularly bad. Polymorph here feels pretty weird. Yeah, we'll try a brain freeze again. Job's done. 
Again, the hand though, I mean, just like, what is this? Like, he's got a brass, they've got a brass wing already. The next year does, like, just what am I supposed to do here? Now, it, this is extra annoying because we had the win just completely ripped out from under us, you know? We actually had the win ready to go. And then it was just taken out from an ice blood tower laurel. And here again, like, I'm just stranded. Well, like, what is this turn? Can I really pull this back like this? So much damage out. What? I'm dead. I think I was dead. I'm bored anyway, honestly. But again, I just didn't have any way to interact. Ugh. Roar. Am I missing a mechanic here? Am I an idiot? Like, I, there's, I mean, I haven't hit like deep water evokers. That would buy me time. Just the deck is so expensive for all of the crazy early tempo. If you're watching this, were you similarly unlucky and or frustrated by this fight? It just feels like I'm not, the, the, like again, the puzzles were awesome. I failed them a few times, but I was learning. I was understanding what, what, how to solve the puzzle. This is just draw the right stuff or don't, it seems like. And mostly don't because it's all very expensive. Uh, let's try to discount a flame strike. Maybe that's something. It's not too far off. Hopefully I won't hit like an ice blood tower. And it's like, what good's the polymorph, honestly? Oh, this is a nice, nice sequence. Five minute flame strike could be very swingy. <laughs> and then it's just an ice blood tower. How is this possible? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty slow play. Another flame strike's cool. Okay. Every turn they kind of whiff like this is definitely better for me. I can't beat that brass wing very easily, though, unfortunately. Like, flame strike here is too, uh, too weak. We'll set up for this flame strike, though, if it's clean. Yeah, not super clean, so maybe we'll go for this one. I don't know, I could probably leave four out though and not be super distraught. Although, I don't know if I can because they have that eight burst damage we know. It's just that I know next turn I'm probably also going to need to flame strike again. Because they're going to summon a bunch of minions. Yeah, see, this makes the next flame strike a little better. Oh, they healed that minion though. Gross. <laughs> that might actually end the game again. I'm sure they'll find four damage here. I, this is just like you can't this is i'm sorry to say this is kind of stupid I, I, I don't feel like i'm uh, i do not feel like i am I, well i'm certainly not having fun i'll tell you that I, I can put it that way maybe it's not stupid i'm just not having fun with this What good is an ice blood tower, man? Dawn grass versus Onyxia Risen. <laughs> keep flying. Don't stop. Am I missing the fun? Viewers, me. let me know if I'm missing what's fun about this. Um, okay, clumsy courier could be a fun play. Could like rip a flame strike with some tempo. But I feel like I need earlier stuff. We'll hope to draw the filler for this later but i need some early minions and I, I think i need like um that evoker to buy some time maybe i just haven't hit an evoker and that's the big difference ice blood's the way to cheese here maybe such an insane opening turn uh, i hate hitting the poisonous with this because you don't draw or do anything um, maybe you still get the honorable kill, actually. 
I don't know. I need to kill the poisonous regardless. Yeah, you do get the honorable kill. Okay, that's pretty nice. So this is a little bit of a freeze. Save some life here. That's pretty good, I think. is not a bad filler. Shooting star doesn't really do much for me right now. Next turn looks really weak because again, I just keep drawing. <laughs> it's just like now they have a Deathwing. <laughs> And I have nothing to do. <sighs> so I guess I have to mass polymorph next turn because otherwise the deathling is just too insane. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Am I missing a mechanic here? Do I have to trust the ice? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm dead to the mass polymorph anyway, so. I don't think there's any playoff ice blood that saves me either, though. Cool, an arcane brilliance, because that's definitely gonna keep up. Um. Okay. Well. Maybe I'm going to hard mulligan for Evoker, because a little extra life could go a long way. It's it's sad that it hasn't shown up one time in a natural draw in like seven attempts or something, but maybe we just have to hard mull for it. Kind of hate to give up early minions, but... Ah, it showed up. Nice. Okay, maybe 10 armor here will make the difference. You do get to play this pretty early. I mean, here's the scoop, right? If, if it's really like draw a Voker and win or don't draw a Voker and win, that's still a very frustrating experience in my book. It's a good opener though. It's about the, this is the best opener we've had yet for sure. We have early interaction. We have Evoker. It's like a few decent plays here for once. We get some honorable kill even, 10 armor, okay. This is definitely our best start. Hero power. Sorceress though, I mean, hitting the Ice Blood Tower is gonna suck again. Blonde Thief, maybe. Uh, we take a Blizzard for next turn. Yeah, that's pretty nice actually, okay. Spell damage or poisonous? We really care about the poisonous because it's nothing good on board anyway. Okay, we have 38 life, we have Blizzard into Deep Freeze, that's not bad necessarily. Fire Sail's pretty good too, actually. Might be a little better right now because you can save the Blizzard for bigger, scarier things down the road. This might be the one, guys. Mm, can I get away with a Deep Freeze on this one? Probably a 30, yeah. I need to get some minions in to stall and interrupt. Blizzard's always good. Deep Freeze, you only have certain windows for. God, I feel like I'm still not gonna get here, though, honestly. Breath of Fire and a minion's nice, okay. It's like I actually need another Blizzard. So do I bother to ping anything off? I don't think so. I think I need choices. I don't want them playing anything extra here if I don't have to. Mass Polymorph would be pretty nice here, actually. Um, Belinda's probably too risky. I mean, I'm just... I'm just a victim of this again. Like, I can't. It, it like has to be mass polymorph. I I actually really hate this. Uh. 
Okay, we continue. This is not fun. I'm just I'm just not having fun. Not fun for me. Maybe it's fun for somebody. I don't know. Uh, this has completely stalled me out. This is so frustrating because you feel powerless and lack any any influence. Don't stop. I mean, is there any way for me to change my play patterns here to improve my chances of victory by changing mulligans or um I feel like Arcane Overflow is just too slow, but maybe we can try that for once. This leaves me stranded on turn one. It gives me a decent follow-up sequence. I can hero power if nothing else, but there's never any hero power targets really, right? Um, not, not mana. Okay, do I tempo a wand thief? Actually, no, I'll just use it to fuel my hero power. That's actually decent. This is there's a lot of two threes and three fours and stuff, so I think this becomes a notably stronger hero power at that rate. This might be nice, actually. Yeah. We're up to six on this. So that's actually pretty nuts. Also, I feel like their dragons are slower starting right now. This is actually the best start we've had. I'm certain. The hero power upside's nice. I kind of wish this were corrupted, actually. <laughs> I could try to leave that alive for a minute. I think I will actually. Could trade it off and punish, I guess, but that's not a big punish actually. At least not a huge one. Oh, sure. Seven damage, nice. That kills a lot of stuff. I've never even seen a Cro-Magus before, dude. It's the first time I've even seen the Cro-Magus. You're kidding me. That's kind of wild. Mass Polymorph here is a hair early. Fire Sail's also just a little weak. So I can't kill both of these. Or really anything, hardly. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll Mass Polymorph in that case, because that's a lot of damage, but... It's, it's early because we know a Deathwing could come down at any moment. Yep, there it is. And a Brasswing. Great. Uh, Fire Sail? Well, actually, just Ping can kill the Brasswing, honestly. Could go for the Freeze on the Deathwing here. If I ping the Brasswing, I'm looking at 15, 19... I go here, I'm looking at 11. I mean, ping on this, though, is nice because I can fire sale ping the Deathwing next time. Let's see. A brain freeze here would be a lifesaver, dude. A lifesaver. First flame instead. Okay. Didn't get the brain freeze, so do I still rip the fire sail? I don't think so, because these are weaker minions on average. I think I just potion this for now. Could actually first flame here to set up the fire sail clear on it next turn. Then I have ping on the death wing. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Three turns left. Ember scale tree. Leaving eight damage on board after the fire sale. I'm a 12. Flame strike any better? Yeah. I don't get the clean hit, but I remove five additional damage. I, don't, I mean, I don't get another hero power upgrade, but who cares, right? Oh, oh my god, it just keeps coming. Fire sale ping second flame is probably going to do us fine, though. I don't know though, we're at six basically. Oh god, we're at six. Can I kill this? No, but Blizzard next turn's pretty good. Oh my god, did I, is, is, do I have to, is this enough? Like, is this where it ends or do I have to live? They didn't kill me. 
Oh my god. Oh, I actually hate this so much. I mean, I've spent like 30 minutes on this one fight. Like, am I the only person who's having a miserable experience here? John Grass versus Onyxia I'm like pulling up a guide right now Cyrella, to see if I'm missing something obvious. Give it to me. This encounter is a bit of an RNG fest. Yep. You will likely have to start over multiple times and find the one fight where luck is on your side. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that didn't that didn't seem encouraging. Am I just getting absurdly unlucky here, or is this par for the course? You don't pick the walks. Probably a brain freeze. Arguably a fireball makes more sense, but sometimes I need to like kill those death wings that are the hard ones. Okay. Hala doesn't seem particularly useful to me. Cheaper mass polymorph does seem good though. Add a copy of your opening hand to your hand. I'm never spending eight mana on that, right? Wormweaver's pretty cool next turn with Brain Freeze, so... Let's take that. Hero Power is also pretty intriguing, but uh, I think we gotta go here to get some bodies out. Flame Strike's good. Okay, so we have a 6-7. This 8's not, not especially relevant, I guess, but... So much for the... <laughs> So much, man. <laughs> okay, I mean, we have to do this. I obviously can't leave 18 damage on board. So hopefully Flame Strike's good enough. Ugh, leave it up a 6-1 and a 4-1, arguably, right? Uh, it's not too bad, though. But I'm gonna need another AoE soon. Deep Freeze here, maybe, if there's not a Deathwing or... <laughs> God, the brass wing. <laughs> like, dude, this, this is so insane to me. I, I just don't understand. Like, I, I just don't. I don't think this is fun. Personally, I, I don't know that many people think this is fun. Um <sighs> Yeah, you just don't have any influence. It's like the worst part of RNG boiled down into a single fight. Don Grass versus Onyxia Risen. I'm trying to maintain positivity and and uh, neutrality here, but man, this is really frustrating. I, you know, if you give me a hard puzzle, of which I thought a few were, you know, nicely challenging, give me a hard puzzle, I'm happy, right? Like I'm I'm up for that all day because I know I can get there with enough patience and thought. This. Doesn't feel like that. This feels like I'm never going to achieve this. I have no idea how to make this fight go my way, other than just, you know, I'm just, it's not like I'm, you know, if I had 10 cards in hand and a lot of choices and um, a lot of decision points, like, yeah, I think you could, you could make an argument that um, you're influencing the game in some pretty cool ways. That's not what's happening here, right? I'm. I mean, like, I guess I'm playing this 2-2. There's no spell in hand, but uh, I mean, what what else? I gotta get a two, I gotta get a body down, maybe. <sighs> uh, 
I don't know. There's a pretty decent chance I fill in the curve anyway later and save some mana, but this is also gonna... I, I don't know, man. I'm just... I don't even care anymore, honestly. I'm just tilted. Okay, so Flame Strike's cool, but we're a bit off on it right now. It's like... <laughs> so I trade in a way that sets up flame strikes, right? Or or maybe do nothing. Maybe they'll trade for me, soften these up all to like the, even if this here goes to five, which is fine. Yeah, let's just do this so that they don't hit face a lot. Hopefully that plan works. Like, oh these minions, dude, like what? <laughs> this is so stupid. It's like I I've been kind to you, uh fight why are you like this man i've been so kind to book of mercenaries you know like this is not how i wanted to go out it's like a two hour book of mercenaries where it's just the same stupid fight over and over again that's not fun i'm not gonna edit this out of the video either by the way i i think it's important to acknowledge it sucks i want other people to know if they had this experience they're not alone not going to put a big bow on it and say, oh, that was great. I'm just not going to pretend. Oh, that was the only attempt. How great. And what's so frustrating is uh, it was stolen out from under me on that first attempt because the stupid, the stupid, stupid ice blood tower. I'm going to read more Reddit comments about this or something like. The seventh fight in Varden's book of mercenaries is horrible. If I wanted to just roll odds eight times in a row or die, I'd drop out of university, sell all my possessions, and then go to Las Vegas. <laughs> I have finished top 30 legend, and I have had to restart this fight 10 plus times. Just finished it after posting, got lucky with early game draws, and no giant dragons early. <laughs> Hard mulligan for mass polymorph GG. First few turns of your power is enough, then just mass polymorph them. Well, they had a lucky roll, obviously, because that is not remotely accurate. Um, uh, okay. I mean, honestly, I know it's doable because we almost did it the first time, but boy, is it frustratingly oh this is a fantastic opener though actually this is far and away our best opener okay i know i've said that like four times and it didn't materialize into anything meaningful but this is legitimately it that's even really good too okay throwing two off this hitting the two one this is great whoever tested this had this exact opener and they were like oh yeah this is fine <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, seem fine. <laughs> Ship it. And everybody else is like, no, God, please, please, wait. The worst. The actual worst. I got a lot of armor gain, I got a lot of minions. Like, this is nice. Of course they roll a chrono breaker when I have this nutty board though. That seems pretty fitting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could stall this out for a minute and just like play into a deep freeze or fire sale. I have a decent play too where I ping this after trading stuff in, right? Like trade, 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 ping trade. The only problem is like mana is, I don't spend any mana. Fire sale seems just like a waste, right? Cause all my stuff's getting killed too. I went for just like a frostbolt and chilled. Uh, yeah, all that feels really bad just because of the mana problem. This is a cool piece of hard removal, but I almost prefer like stalling twice because I don't need to clear everything. I just need to live. Right? That's the, the thing. Um, I can honorable kill this too to draw. Like, I think that's the play. We just clear everything else anyway, so I get some card draw. Soften up these minions a little, because who cares? Draw a card. I guess I didn't scale my hero power. I don't know which I like better. It's a good good thought. Is scaling hero power better or is getting a draw better? I think getting a draw is better, but maybe not. 
So fire sale, ping clears this, leaves quite a bit, but it's not the end of the world. I can actually freeze one as well. Maybe freeze the 3-4 into the next fire sale. Just don't be a 12-12. Okay, fire sale into... I need like a third fire sale. <laughs> uh, it's just like this, this is so awkward, right? I can't get away with a deep freeze here. There's just no way. Let's just take a look. Definitely need these two to die, so don't die. It's still just so much damage left on board, though. And I don't have a way to answer, like, a Deathwing or even a Crusher. And now I'm just out of gas and I'm dead next turn, like always. Flame Strike here would almost be enough, but that actually wouldn't be terrible. Ice Blood Tower, I just literally can't play. Huh. Is that good enough? No, it is not. Unless they trade really hilariously badly. Forty-one minutes for one fight. Usually the whole run takes forty-one minutes. I think I'm just gonna stop, uh... <laughs> just... <laughs> just stop. I, I, I want to showcase this. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna turn off the recording until I beat it and just do that or edit this out. I'm gonna let everyone suffer through this together. Tyrella, keep flying. Don't stop. Uh, give it to me. I love that I get to hear give it to me every time. Can't wait to give it to you, Anixia. Um, Belinda's like kind of weirdly decent if we have time to play it. It's just so hard to get time to play it. I remember that one time though we played it and it was decent. It's just like, why is this deck so expensive? What is the deep freeze for? The opponent has 40 minions all the time. What am I doing with a deep freeze? It's just like, look at this opener. It, this is so stupid, dude. This is obviously not the, not the game. Instead of them having a 2-1, they have, you know. What's the pull count, by the way? I was having a really good time with this, and the puzzles, like, oh man, those were so fun. Cyrella, keep flying. Don't stop. Give it to Please stop. Like, honestly. End our misery. Like, the suffering needs to stop. Okay. <laughs> Might be a decent turn four, honestly, to give me some choices. It's not bad. Oh, I just is mirror image gonna be I, I feel like I still have to take brain freeze. I don't know. Maybe I need to think about mirror image again. It's just there's the boards are too wide, they have first flames everywhere in their deck. I just don't see it. But please break my brain. Okay, I mean, Mass Poly's decent sometimes. And it's like all these three, four minions, right? With it, with fire sale. Like, okay, everything's just got too much health now, man. Flame strikes, cool. Is a brain freeze worth healing three? I don't have a play next turn. It's the bigger problem, really. Ooh, okay, hold up. That's really good against those, actually. So that might save me. Not so good against the rest of this, though. Uh. Okay. 
really my only choice, but guess we kill the poisonous here. Can't kill the 4-4, so. So maybe flame strike next turn, mass poly the turn after. Flame strike's not quite good enough unless I can value trade here. Will they trade down or will they go face? They do go face, okay. So flame strike's decent here. Fire sale ping is about the same. No, not quite, no. Okay, mass poly maybe, maybe. Um. Fire sale, brain freeze, ping is another option with a wand thief. Uh, it leaves too much up though, right? It's too much, yeah. Maybe a blizzard here? Okay, I do feel like the wand thief says like a limited pool of spells, which is handy, but it never seems to be enough. Blizzard here is pretty nice. It's always that turn afterwards, though, that's never enough. Like, this is also just hitting me, you know? I, like, need to kill this. Can I brain freeze it, though, is the problem, right? Is it really going to be worth a brain freeze? I don't think so. But I'm probably just dead again. Honestly, like, I, I don't know how to win from you. Remember, healing them doesn't matter. I guess this doesn't matter when it's dead, though. Just a, it does matter. It's a discount. So they just have a casual aid to face again. I mean, I, I, this is just one of the stupidest experiences I've ever had in Hearthstone. Every card. Like, why is Hala here? How am I supposed to play Hala? <laughs> it's actually insane. There's no way to play Hala. I don't even have time to play Mass Polymorph, let alone Hala. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is unacceptable. That's my opinion. Maybe some people love this. I don't know, but this sucks to me. This is awful. This is one of the most miserable. It's not, you know, it's not like, it's not like, you know, the old heroic uh, adventures and stuff, right? Again, that felt like solving a puzzle. You felt like you were figuring it out along the way. This doesn't feel like that. This feels purely like you are just beholden to the cards you draw and the random garbage luck. There's no science here. There's no... There's nothing here that makes you feel like you're in control of the situation in the slightest. I might want to Arcane Brilliance next turn. It's weird, though. This helps me do it, potentially, right? Because I get a cheap hero power to play with it. Could maybe go, like, Snap, Freeze, Arcane Brilliance. Yeah, actually, this is a pretty good turn for it. Since I don't really need to do anything else. I think I'm better off with more spell options than I am with, like, a Tempo 2-2, right? That just doesn't matter that much. But the Flame Strike definitely does. Blizzards are great. Okay, this is actually shaping up well because they hit garbage early minions. They've been getting really low roll stuff. This is actually kind of perfect for once. So can't quite easily kill that guy, but I think we can just stall the, the other one and play stuff here. Armor's awesome. May not even have to stall it. Might just leave it up, right? Who cares? Yeah, let's just get some... Ooh, Ice Lance is pretty good with Blizzard, actually. Oh my god, is this the one? Is this the run? We can just Blizzard and chill here. Maybe even, like, rip an Ice Lance just to get that guy out of the way. Although, I don't know. There's a good chance I'm going to Flame Strike next turn, so I may not even need to. Yeah, probably these are all in Flame Strike range, right? So 
if I, they do get like a Deathwing here and the Flame Strike doesn't kill it, I can at least um, Snap Freeze or whatever. Oh my god, guys, this might be the one. We're still at 34 life with an empty board. This might actually be the one. Oh my god. Flame Strike, sure. Oh, please, God. Please, God. Flame Strike Ping is totally fine. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. This is okay to leave alive, no big deal. Uh, Blizzard here is fine. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't need to think more carefully about this, do I? <laughs> Just like, god, do I need to figure this out, you know? What's the math here? I don't know, I could use this as a stall next turn with Deep Freeze and, and lock out four minions and almost always be alive, right? Maybe I could ping here just to get some clean math. Okay with that. Oh my god. I think I'm fine, right? Like, I think this means I win, doesn't it? I just have to lift, like, if I in turn, do I just win? Oh, oh, praise God, I did nothing different. I just got lucky, and I finally won the fight. Oh my God, that was miserable. She's gone. Oh, that was the worst, the thank God. Anixia sucks. You have been a true friend to see this through to the end. No worries, Irella, dude. <laughs> dude, to see this through, my God. No joke. What a miserable fight. 50 minutes for that fight. One fight longer than most runs. That sucked. Inside, we carefully laid out the shards of Naru into the shape of its being. The shards still burned with void energy. But my studies of the Naru had prepared me for this moment. All right, Varden. Look, Don Grasp. The Naru reforms. Let's get it. Man, I hope this fight's fun because that last one just sapped all of my energy and... Boy. That's going to be how I... <laughs> Like, man, I don't want one fight to, like, soil this whole experience, but man, that was tough. The dark really frustrating. Not the right way to do difficulty as far as I felt. Void. I, I think making it difficult and epic and significant is really nice, but we will that's not how you make things rewardingly difficult, in my opinion. There was no, no agency. Zero agency, I felt. I don't know what to keep here, so this might be fine. I didn't even look at the hero power. I was so frustrated. It looks like uh, Kurtris's buddy in uh, Battlegrounds. Void Nightmare. Summon a nightmare from the past. Oh, cool. It's probably going to be all the all the characters, all the mercenaries, nightmares and stuff. That's fun. I cannot reform. You can't stop these snowstorms. Destroyed the demon's portal. The Lich's birth. Mida will help you out, dude. Don't worry, man. I love that this card back matches perfectly. That's cool. Value seems important here. This the hundred health's a lot, right? This is gonna be a long fight, probably. We have made such sacrifices to reach this point. Some have given everything for me to save. Stop shattering. It is impossible. Oh god, I forgot he was freezing. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> One damage gone forever. Pyroblast, maybe? I don't know, Fireball's so much more flexible. It is too late. The dragons found my core. Cool. Gathered me up. What are these, like, in sequence? Uh, got a lot of cards in hand. You take me for an ordinary mage? That's a big old card. Yeah, it sucked. Snow problem. Snow problem. 
All right, I was gonna honorable kill, but I did notice right there at the end that tower at nine cards. So scratch that. No thanks. Oh, this is cool. It's like all the fights we had from before. That's actually really awesome. Now see, this is cool, thematic, fun. I still feel in control. Awesome. Let's get an ice blood tower, dude. We're early enough in the in the game here. I think it'll be fine. I mean, I feel like these need to get dealt with, right? No this one's mine. Rune! Oh, fire sale. No, dude, Ice Blood Tower is so bad. If it wasn't bad, I would've got face if I don't, right? But... I think a lot of shards and stuff that doesn't do anything here. That's weird. I do like Deep Freeze a lot. As long as it doesn't get wiped by the uh, tower. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's really good. Strong board. Whoa, those are strong. This is a really cool fight. Like the nightmares from the past reminding us of all the stuff we did. Is every card in their deck a, a shard of the Nara, by the way? I just, just realized they're playing like every turn. <laughs> is it just guaranteed? That's actually sometimes good with Jandis, right? Uh... Fire sale again. Just great. Dude, every deck is shard, isn't it? <laughs> That's from this guy, so... Every card is... Every card is shard. It rhymed. This casts a deep freeze at a one mana discount. <laughs> yeah, I don't love my plays here. I think I'm just kind of ignoring these for a minute until I get some better AoE to deal with them, right? Just kind of chilling for a minute. Fireball's okay, but not that exciting. Sixty-five to go. I frankly don't have a lot of cards here. Ooh, Blightborn Tangent. This is a good flame strike. So. Flame strike ping is good. We might get a good Howla, actually. Howla, if it can stick. I guess it gets silenced though, so that's probably not relevant. The pirates. Oh, good God, dude. Jeez, thank God Sneeds is uh, not actually a pirate there, eh? Man. Mass Polly is intriguing. I think a hero power is pretty good. Maybe I can just freeze the 8 8 here. I doubt there's more pirates, right? In other words, I don't think Smite gives any additional value. Hope that's true. Yeah, no, nothing there. Okay, this is starting to look mass polymorphable too. Nothing at six. Could push for three damage at the cost of two one ones. It's like a ping in that case and push for nine damage and then mass poly. Question is, do I want to use the five mana one and get more stuff or? Or not. You don't pick the walks. Oh, cool. That's a fun fit. I love that the whole deck is shards, dude. Oh, Nixie is gross. Oh crap. That's another good mass poly, maybe. Gear grubber this far along? Jeez. Are they gonna run out of nightmares? Because I feel like we're at the end of the story, kinda. It's probably better to hold that for, uh... Oh, I should pick face when we're doing. That's so much damage. I'm stupid. A 1-1 one, one doesn't really matter here. Oh yeah, they're out of stuff. So we just gotta clear these probably and win. That's sweet. Okay, 
Cool. Sure how they get silenced here, but... Oh, see, this fight was so cool. Great story. Not too hard to overcome. Just, like, good, nice storyline. Like, man. Oh, dude. This was such a strong finish. But that fight right before it. Oh, man. That was tough. That was real tough. Save Draenei, save the world. Yes. Might up your lights here. He says Mida. That's what I said. But then everybody told me I was wrong. Because it's like a Midas touch. He's bringing back Cyrilla's kid. Oh my god. And then he blew himself up before it happened. Oh, there she is. <gasps> it's me. Where am I? Rooney. I see you, my child. You are here. Wow. You are awake. Beautiful. At last, it is over. I mean, A plus final fight, but honestly, F minus fight before it. They could not have been a bigger contrast. That final fight was incredibly good. My race oh, so good. As mother and the one before it was awful. The Naru was gone, but the Draenei at last were together once again. I returned to Silvermoon and accepted the rank of Magister. Wow, that's Varden. The others had their own rewards, their own adventures that carried them to the edges of our world and home to their hearts. We ten mercenaries would never all be together again. Yet the falling stars forever connected us in a constant. Well, that's kind of sad. Never all be together again. No uh, reunion. Though our book was closed. Another was about to open. Oh, really? Is there another book on the way? Cool. Book of Mercenaries is done. Overall, pretty fun. I like this a lot more than Book of Heroes. I know, like, the stories felt so much more. Uh, I don't know, well paced and to the scale of the the thing, whereas Book of Heroes was like just collecting a bunch of random major events. This felt like really close to the characters and saw a lot of character development. So yeah, really good. I again hated that fight so much. I can't understate how much I hated that second to last fight. But the last one was pretty good and a nice touching end tier to Book of Mercenaries. So that said, thanks much as always for watching, and until next time, game on.